Good day everyone. We will discuss about the era availability group JBS AG already exists. This error could be caused by a previous failed create availability group or drop availability group operation in this video. Let's get started. We will try uh, creating an uh, availability group called JBS AG and we will add a database called JBS Wiki into this uh, availability group JBS AG. So for this uh, availability group creation, we will utilize three replicas JBS AG1, JBS AG2 and JBS AG3 and we will configure them as a synchronous commit. Let's first uh, log into uh, server JBS AG1 and then let's try creating an availability group from here. So uh, let's refresh JBS AG1 and then go to the always on availability group uh, folder. And if you can see right now, we don't have any uh, uh, availability group created. So we have this many databases, but uh, what we are going to do is like we are going to create an uh, availability group called JBS AG and then we will add this uh, database JBS Wiki into that. Let's do that. Let's click on uh, new availability group wizard. Let's click on next. Let's name this uh, availability group as JBS AG. Click on next. I'm going to use um, uh, JBS Wiki database for this. So click on next. I'm going to add the other two replicas, JBS AG2 and uh, JBS AG3 as well. And then what I'll do is like I will configure them to have um, uh, an availability mode of uh, synchronous commit for all these three replicas. So I'm uh, selecting this uh, automatic failover and that will ensure that the availability mode will be set to synchronous. I will leave uh, everything else as uh, default here. So I'm going to just click on next here. Then I'm going to select automatic seeding. And then let's wait for um, um, the validation to complete. The validation is complete. Everything looks good. So let's click on next and then let's go ahead and uh, set up this uh, availability group JBS AG on this particular um, um, instance JBS AG1, JBS AG2 and JBS AG3. So once um, uh, this completes, we will verify if uh, uh, everything uh, looks good. Let's look at the configuration as well one more time. Let's wait for this uh, always on underscore health extended event session to be um, started on JBS AG3. We know that uh, JBS AG3 is on a uh, different uh, uh, region. Uh, so it's taking some time, but if you look at it here, yeah, what I'm able to see is like we are getting an error as well as creating the availability group is concerned. So let's click on that error. And then if you see the error here, yeah, it basically tells that uh, the availability group JBS AG already exists. This error could be caused by a previous failed create availability group or drop availability group operation. If the availability group name you specified is correct, try dropping the availability group and then retry create availability group operation. So what happened is like, uh, uh, let me uh, give you some background uh, what was um, performed on this particular database server. So uh, what happened is like, um, we had to um, uh, upgrade uh, the SQL server instance on uh, each of uh, these three servers. It is JBS AG1, JBS AG2, and JBS AG3. Uh, and uh, what we have done is like uh, we tried doing the upgrade and the upgrade had some failure. And uh, what we had to do is like we had to uninstall uh, uh, everything and then have to uh, install SQL server from the scratch. So what I understand, what I think is like uh, that particular thing with the availability group in place already, when we had to uh, uninstall and uh, reinstall SQL server, maybe the entries uh, as far as um, uh, the, the previous availability group, uh, I think that is uh, 
placed somewhere and that is causing the issue. In my case, I was not able to start the SQL services. I basically had to uh, uh, uninstall SQL server and then reinstall it. Uh, kind of a, a real world problem wherein I had this problem. I uh, uh, We had this availability group and SQL Server went down. We were not able to start it. So we basically uninstalled SQL Server and then reinstalled it. So uh, that is where uh, we are right now. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, uh, rest I'm going to um, uh, 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 um, disable availability group and then uh, uh, enable it back. So let me do that and uh, this is done. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to restart the SQL services. I'm just doing this to make sure uh, in case if there are any um, 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 uh, entries that were uh, that are present by mistake after we did the uninstall or is, if something else has happened, uh, it might clear out the thing. So that is the reason I'm doing it. So let me do this on all the three nodes. And then I will uh, um, uh, I will check the availability group option again, and then I will uh, restart the SQL services one more time. So this is unchecked. So let uh, me restart the SQL services. Restart. This is uh, getting started. I will do the same thing in JBS AG uh, three as well. So uh, let's go there to the availability group uh, tab and then uncheck this. This is done. So I'm going to um, do the same thing uh, one more time, but this time I'll be uh, checking this um, 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 checkbox for enable always on availability group across JBS AG1, AG2, and AG3. And then we will try creating um, um, the availability group one more time. Let me restart it here. Okay, let's go to JBS AG1. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, go to the always on availability group uh, uh, tab and I will uh, check this option. Let's uh, enable the uh, always on availability group option here. Click on apply and then click OK. Let's uh, stop it and then um, restart it. Let's go to JBS AG1 and uh, let's start this uh, SQL agent that will start the SQL server as well. Let's go to JBS AG1. We will stop here. Let's uh, do the same thing in JBS AG3 as well before enabling it. So now go to JBS AG2 again. Right click and click on properties on SQL server. Go to um, always on availability group and then enable it. So let's start the agent. Let's do the same thing in JBS AG3 as well. Click on properties. Go to the always on availability group uh, option on the tab and then enable always on availability group. We are just doing this uh, um, to make sure like in case there are any stale entries, then that gets uh, removed after this. So let's start it. So we will verify that one more time. Let's go to JBS AG1. Let's refresh it and then let's uh, ensure that uh, we are uh, enabled with uh, always on availability group. So JBS AG1, it is enabled. Let's uh, check the same thing in JBS AG2. Here as well, it is enabled. And at last, let's do this on JBS AG3 as well. And uh, if you see here, it is enabled here as well. So now what we'll do, we will try creating this uh, availability group from uh, 
JPSAG1. So let's go to the availability groups folder and then click on new availability group wizard. And then let's give this as JBSAG and then click on next. Let's uh, select JBS wiki. And then here, let's add these two replicas, JBSAG2, JBSAG3. So let's uh, enable uh, automatic failover here. Click on next. Automatic seeding would be fine. I think um, the change that we have done, uh, we've like uh, enabled and disabled uh, uh, always on availability group. I think that should uh, do the trick here. Um, uh, this is gonna take some time. Uh, let's see if uh, the availability group JBSAG is going to get uh, created here. So well, we know that JBS AG3 is in Korea Central. So well, whatever operation that we are going to do on that is going to take some time because of the latency thing. Since it is uh, geographically separated as far as JBS AG1 and JBS AG2 is concerned. So now uh, if we see here, uh, this is failed. Let's look at the error here. And the error is same. It basically tells like the availability group uh, JBS AG already exists. So this is the error that we are getting even though we uh, uh, um, um, disabled and enabled uh, availability group from um, uh, um, as, from the configuration manager uh, and then restarted the services still we are getting this error. Normally uh, for issues like this Whenever you get this error, the availability group JBS AG already exists. This action like uh, disabling availability group and uh, um, enabling it from the configuration manager usually resolves the problem. But in rare situation like this, uh, the error still exists. So what we'll do now, we will look at this further. So what I'll do is like I will close it here. And uh, um, um, what we will do now is like we will uh, check this further and see uh, what could be the problem. What we'll do now is like we will look at the uh, registry and then um, uh, see like what do we have as far as availability group is concerned. Let's go to HKey local machine cluster and then we have something called uh, HADR AG name to uh, old map so let's click on that and what we are seeing is like this particular entry JBS AG that is present here uh, in this particular uh, uh, registry is actually causing the problem this is somehow not getting deleted like uh, after we restarted the SQL services by disabling and enabling the always on availability group option on all the three nodes but still this particular value this particular um, uh, entry on the registry is there. And uh, since uh, we are uh, creating uh, the same name and when we try creating it from um, the SSMS, what happens is like we get an entry with that name here in this particular um, uh, uh, registry area. And since we already have it, that is the reason we are getting this error. So now what I'm going to do is like I'm going to take a, a backup of uh, this particular um, uh, registry. I'm just going to take uh, the backup of uh, cluster folder. Um, so let me click on export. And then what I'll do is like I will uh, let me uh, uh, save this here. It is saved. So now what we can do is like, let's go to um, uh, HADR AG name to old map. And then what you'll do here is like, we will delete this entry here. So I'm done here. So let's uh, do the same thing in JBS AG2 and JBS AG3 as well. Let's go to HK local machine cluster and then HADR AG name to old map and here we are able to see the same here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete here as well. And then now let's uh, check on JBS AG3. And let's uh, check here HK local machine cluster 
and here also we are seeing the entry so we will uh, take a backup here as well and then let's uh, delete that option here so let's go to the search area ag name to old map and then let's delete it here as well and now what we'll do is like let's go to uh, jbs ag1 and then let's try uh, creating the availability group this time and see what happens so let me connect to jbs ag1 jbs ag2 and jbs ag3 as well now let's go to um, a jbs ag1 always on high availability folder and then let's try creating the availability group here click on next let's name it as jbs ag so click on next i'm going to uh, use only jbs wiki here so let's add the other two replicas jbs ag2 and uh, jbs ag3 and then we will enable um, uh, synchronous commit uh, for that i will just click on automatic failover and this will make sure like the availability mode is synchronous commit let's click on next automatic seeding is fine for me so now what i'm going to do is like i'm going to click on next and going to start this i let's wait for uh, this to complete this is going to take some time the extended event session always on underscore health uh, starting it on jvs ag3 is going to take some time as um, it is uh, in uh, korea uh, central uh, it is geog geographically separated from east us as far as jvs ag1 and jvs ag2 node is concerned so let's wait for this um, uh, uh, availability group jvs ag creation and uh, let's see if it is going to complete yes this time it completed so what we have done so uh, we had some issues where we had to restart uh, uh, we had to rebuild uh, the sql server like we uh, uninstalled and reinstalled sql server and there were some uh, stale entries as well as jbs ag availability group is concerned so um, what we did is like we tried unchecking and uh, checking this uh, availability group option on the sql server properties in configuration manager that should most of the time solve this issue but uh, this time at least uh, in my case it did not solve the issue so hence uh, we went into uh, registry for each of these nodes and then we um, specifically went to um, hkey local machine uh, cluster and then inside uh, the cluster we have something called hadr ag name to uh, uh, old map and there we found this um, jbs ag stale entry so we took a backup of the registry and then we removed that and once we uh, uh, done that well, what i'm able to see is like we were able to create the availability group without any issues so if you see here the availability group dashboard shows that everything looks good so um, uh, as far as the resolution is concerned whatever uh, changes we did on registry basically solved this issue that's it for this video thanks for watching have a great day jai hind